Castle, I'm kind of glad that you killed off Storm. Less competition. Mm. It's 20 to you, cattle. You're bluffing, Patterson. Cough up some of that TV money and you'll find out. Ah, best to you, Ricky. Castle. Castle. Hmm? Best to you. Oh, sorry. I know that look. Story trouble. You know, you never should have killed off Storm. That was a big mistake. I, I would have retired him. <laughs> or crippled him. I mean, the man was money. You don't see me putting a bullet through Alex Cross's head. And my boy Shane Scully's gonna be fueling my private jet long after people have all forgotten about Storm. Oh, you know what? Just for that, I am gonna call. So what's the problem, Ricky? Maybe we can help. I'm working on this thing. It starts with a famous author. Some psycho starts staging murders like the way he does in his books. <laughs> That's pretty self-aggrandizing, isn't it? This is Castle we're talking about. So, crime scenes are clean. Doesn't leave any fingerprints, doesn't leave any DNA. But the psycho writes the author a fan letter with his prints all over it. Well, that leads the cops to his apartment where they find enough evidence to convict him. And then? That's it. That's it? Yeah, they arrest him. That's terrible. No wonder you're blocked. And here's another thing. The guy doesn't leave his prints at the scene of the crime, but he sends a letter with his prints on it. Oh, you lost me there. And what about a twist? Where's the twist? Yeah, yeah right, like, uh, like maybe somebody set this kid up. That's what your story needs. The character who thinks the kid's innocent keeps digging until he finds the truth. Oh, I have just the guy.